Hi everyone, let's just wait for Taylor for Focus Elite. Thank you for being so early, Prixie 17 and uh, Two Minutes Art and Craft. Hi Priya, welcome, a generous VD. Sugar, thank you so much for supporting. Um, okay, let's just um, focus. It is not yet in the backstage. <gasps> oh, yeah. Um. Okay, let's put up some banners. So we have here the very first one, Prixie 17. So I hope you already visited each other. Or if you haven't, um, just I ha have a quick look, look with Prixie 17. And then we also have two minutes, uh, two minutes art and craft. It's really good, you know, that, you know, so many artistic um, things in this uh, channel, Two Men's Art and Craft. And also we have, oh, device connected. Hold on. Focus it is already here, but then let me check. I'm just sending something. And also we have, okay, there. Hi. What's going on? You... Yeah, just a while ago I sent you, um, I, you haven't received it yet. So it's like device disconnected. So how are you? Doing awesome. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. And so what time is it there? So 12.34 p.m. here. So 10, 10.34. Yeah, it's 10.30. Yep. Yeah. So we have here some early birds. You can read the, the comments, right? So we have your Prixie 17, Two Men's Art and Craft, Generous VD, Sugar, and Rika Kate videos. Hello, everyone. Welcome. And we have Miss Judy. Hi. Happy Friday night. Oh, it's still Friday. So here in PHS, um, it's Saturday, Saturday noon. And we have Mr. Bench Maliga. Welcome. So please don't forget to visit Focus Elite. It's really you know a good content over there and we have well else i forgot to mention still generous vd and sugar okay so this is i like q a so let's know more about focus elite so 
you can you know just drop by your questions and hopefully um my co-host can you know um answer yeah absolutely yeah hey sugar says hello thanks let's see here what else hey uh we are the uh Comments over here in StreamYard, are they live? I mean, are they pretty accurate or are they a little bit, are they delayed? Don't know. I'm messing. <laughs> Can you hear me? Hi, okay? you have any questions? Who are here? Six watching. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, just just drop your questions. So or maybe a quick introduction of uh about focus elite. Is that my cue? <laughs> All right, so uh, let me know in the chat if you guys can hear me or not. We're I'm working with some very limited internet right now, so if you guys can hear me, let me know below um, that you can hear me, and then also if you can see uh, if you can see me as well. But uh, a little a little background information on me: um, I live in a, in um, Oklahoma, which is in the United States, and um, my channel is mainly focused around. Um, you know, uh, I do a lot of stuff with drones. I do a lot of stuff with video content, whether it be video editing. Um, I'll do stuff with Photoshop, InDesign, any kind of design. Um, that's kind of my gig. I'm, uh, I majored in communications, I guess, when I was in college. And so, like, all things uh, design, all things, uh, obviously, communications or video or video editing or um you know, special effects and stuff like that. Like that's, that's kind of my jam right there. So um, if you're interested in any kind of stuff like that, then, you know, uh, I guess consider stopping by and, and taking a look at some of the stuff that I've got out there. Um, that's kind of what I do right now. So uh, is, does anybody have any questions? I'm trying to read some of the comments here. <laughs> Sugar says, what is Focus Elite? Uh, that's my brand. <laughs> Yeah, Focus Elite is my brand. Um, that's just the, the the brand name that I've come up with. Um, I guess the thoughts behind Focus Elite is um, if you are thinking about anything, um, if you're thinking about anything as far as video or photography or just any kind of graphic whatsoever, like a big a big deal that goes into it is like, I mean, the focal point, right? Um, right, right now my face is in focus and the background is not in focus. So focus and then, um, you know, whatever you're targeting, I guess is, is, is focus and then elite because, you know, who doesn't want to be elite? Oh, that's that, you know, that's, that's good to hear. It's, it's, it's good. So like I, I observe here, like they are shy. Why? We must be the one to, uh, you know, to be shy, not you. <laughs> Rika, come on. You have questions? That's yeah, okay. if anyone's got any questions at all. So if you have visited the Ready Focus Elite, so um, like um, his recent uploads is like about the Mavic Mini, right? So yeah, like yeah, the yeah. Of it. So it's really, you know, it's really good, but it's just it's expensive here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt. It's expensive everywhere, but um it's a great hobby to get into if anybody's into drones or anything like that, or even videography in any capacity. It's uh it's a good tool to have in your tool belt. Um it's really awesome because it's kind of uh you look you look at drones as a vantage point that you don't see every day. Um, you know, pretty much everything you can see through the lens of a camera is probably more or less something you can see, um, 
on foot if you're walking around or something like that minus you know obviously some zoom and stuff like that but um you know unless you're airborne it's you can't see a lot of the vantage point that a drone brings to the table and so it makes for really good storytelling in videos um it's just like i said a, a whole different kind of perspective i guess that you get to to uh, enjoy and so that's uh that's kind of my gig at least right now it's been working really well for me it's kind of popped off on my channel a couple times but um, I really do enjoy drones. It's something that I've just recently got into. Um, and uh, I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, there will be other content, obviously, on my channel besides drones. There's only so much you can do as far as a drone or a new drone release or something like that. But I'm really, really enjoying it right now. Wow. Um, what is that? Uh, OK, there's another one here. I have a question. OK, go ahead, Miss Judy. Yeah, Judy, let's hear it. Oh, here. Okay, let's um, go first with Mr. Benjamin Maliga. Do you prefer manual or auto focus regarding photography? What's the cons and pro? Okay, so um, as far as what I prefer, um, what I personally prefer is obviously manual settings because I really understand. I've done a, um, you know a lot of I've had a lot of schooling, I guess, on on photography and and just cameras and and all the the basics if you will and then obviously some advanced photography courses as well but um my preference because i do i am educated on it is obviously manual settings because you have so many um options on what you can change within your image and so as far as whether it's video or or photography they're very very similar i prefer manual like 100 percent because you can totally control your settings now, for somebody who doesn't maybe understand video or, or photography or the elements therein, I would recommend, I wouldn't recommend, uh, it depends on your level. If you're just first time flip on the camera, yeah, auto is your deal. That's the, that's the situation, which you're, that's what you're going to want. Um, there's a whole bunch, and this could be like a, a whole mini series, honestly, of, of understanding your camera. But there's a bunch of different settings you can have. It doesn't just have to be manual. You know, they have... Um, you know, the kind of the, ta the time value, well, it depends on what brand of camera that you um, use, but like, for instance, camera or Canon, which is what I shoot on currently, they have, you know, the time value setting, they have AV, which is basically where you just dial in your exposure and then the camera um, will adjust everything else. So in a quick nutshell, without going into a ton and ton of detail here, basically your, your camera can be, you know, your camera works in three variables. There's three variables. There's the ISO, the aperture, and the shutter speed. And the way those things work is all three of those are dependent on the uh, or each one of those is is dependent on the other two. So if you lock down one of the settings, whether it's ISO, then the other two can fluctuate, or you can set them. And if you are setting them, obviously, if you control all three variables, 100% human or you know by yourself, then that is what you would call manual settings. Now, if you set in one of those other two settings I described earlier, then that is going to be you know either your TV mode or your um, AV mode, which, like I said, kind of controls exposure. And then the camera decides what the best setting on the other two variables can be. So um, that's kind of a personal preference as far as somebody who's just getting into cameras, um, I wouldn't just go straight in the manual mode because you're going to be so lost. You're going to hate your camera and you're going to be like, why did I spend all this money? Auto is good if you just hop in real quick and want to take some cool photos. Like the cameras nowadays are pretty, pretty dang good. So, I mean, they're probably going to be able to get some good um, photos. But um, once you get to more expert levels or once you learn more about your camera and the settings and how to change those, um, which there's a million YouTube tutorials you can watch, if you are interested in something like that, then, um, you know, the further and further you get, the, the more likely you will be into the manual settings and be more comfortable with man manual settings, whether it's video or photography. So uh, a quick question, uh, you know, what do they say? Uh, a long story or a short story long? <laughs> yeah, a real short story, a real short description made really, really long by me. Okay, so here's another one from... Appleberry TV. So we have here, how much is that drone? And yeah, it looks very expensive. Okay, so um, 
the drone that I'm using currently is the DJI Mavic Mini, and it in America runs just the drone and a battery and the controller and everything you need to get off the ground and flying is I think they list at three ninety nine, so four hundred dollars US. Um, if you get the Fly More combo, which if anyone here is actually interested in drones, I would definitely recommend getting because it gives you extra batteries and a case and all kinds of other stuff, to extra props in case you break one of the propellers or something like that. That's going to be another hundred bucks. So basically you're looking at 500 bucks to get um, the setup, at least that I have right now. Um, it is expensive, but it is probably on the budget end of things as far as drones go. I mean, they go, uh, I mean, you can spend whatever your budget is. You can spend on a drone. I mean, it's it's pretty. Uh, more top end drones will go for fifteen hundred to two thousand um, dollars. So yeah, five hundred dollars is kind of a steal. <laughs> the way I look at it, anyways. Okay. Um, uh, here from Miss Judy a while ago. I know you have extensively worked with the DJI, so I use Osmo Pocket for my videos, but it doesn't have portrait function. Well, I only achieve the effect through edits. What edits and program? Okay, so a follow up, uh, I'll answer that, but then also a follow up question. Are you looking for um, when you say portrait mode or a portrait function, are you talking about photography or are you talking about videography? Um, so the DJI Osmo Pocket, which actually have right here um the dji osmo pocket is it's actually a really really good camera whether you're doing video or photography the photography is okay on it honestly your iphone if you have a, a late uh iphone or if you have a samsung or something like that like the the camera on your phone is awfully awfully good as far as just still images um the video on this is very 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 good um as far as portrait mode goes and i don't want to get too deep into the details there because i don't know that uh, the people watching, if they'll really understand it. So I don't want to talk way over everybody's head, but basically the aperture on this camera is 2.8. So that basically meet what that means is the lower number you have, as far as your aperture goes, the um, more blurred out your background is going to be. And also the more light it lets into your sensor. So if you have a, a really low number, as far as your aperture goes, it's going to allow more light in, which means in low light settings, like, um, you know, in, indoors or even at night, you're going to get a lot better image quality. Um, it, it's a two, it's fixed at 2.8, so it's okay. It's pretty decent. It's not horrible. Um, as far as blurring out the background, what you're probably getting on your Osmo is about all you'll ever get. So to answer your question in short, if you want something extra, you're probably going to have to do it post-processing is what I'm guessing. Okay, here's another one. What camera is the best for filming? Oh, that's a trick question, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> that depends. That depends on your budget and what you're wanting. I mean, they make cameras. It'll blow your mind what they can sell them for and what they're worth. Um, you know, the the camera that I'm really lusting for. You know, the one I really really want is the uh, Sony A7R4, which is uh, you know, obviously a Sony camera, but it's a it's a great photography camera. I mean, it shoots. Basically, to put it in, in a nutshell, it'll shoot such quality, such uh, the, the pixel density will be so good that you could actually make uh, take a picture of like a landscape or whatever it is you're taking. And you can actually put that on a giant billboard that you would pass on like an interstate or something on, on a freeway. Like it's that kind of quality of camera. And, and, and then the video settings are also very, very good. They have, you know, 4K and, and, and 1080p at uh, 120 seconds. Like it's an awesome, awesome camera. That's my ideal camera if I could afford it somehow that would be the camera i would buy but it really depends the answer to your question it depends on the um camera that you're wanting uh or your budget i guess so if you look at like the stream right now which probably isn't as good on my end just because uh my internet connection is really really slow um but what you're seeing right now i'm actually i got a hundred dollar it's about a hundred dollar webcam setup right now. And it actually, web, the webcam is 4k. So you're not, obviously you're not getting 4k right now, <clears throat> which is a really, really, really big, one of the, the highest resolutions, I guess, currently you can get as far as cameras go. Um, it's probably displaying to you guys at 720p. So it probably looks a little bit fuzzy, but like anything will work. Like the cam, the camera that I shoot most of my like in studio, like this background right here, this setup right here, that's my Canon 70D. It shoots only 1080p. So it's, and it's was made in 2011. So, I mean, it's, it's coming up on 10 years old. So any camera, I guess the answer would be, um, 
my camera, my, my camera's advice to you would be whatever you can afford. Um, is, is it, is it any, all the cameras that come out recently are pretty good. So, um, if you want more advice on that, you can probably either, you know, direct message me or hit me up on Twitter or something like that. And I give you probably a more direct answer, but, uh, as far as it pertains to your budget, but really the sky's the limit. I mean, they make cameras that'll, um, cost more than cars. So, <laughs> Hey, so what's this? Why so foggy, Taylor? <laughs> po, po, this is in mean? the Tagalog word. Foggy means handsome. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, uh, I guess, uh, I don't know, I got lucky, you know? <laughs> Thank you, though. Oh, no, host Taylor has a really nice voice. So I hope you guys already visited Focus Elite. And um, and take a look with all you know his videos is really nice content and especially about editing. So I myself I have a question. So I've been okay. seeing this you know um, all over the uh, YouTube about the Lightroom. Can you tell us mm. uh, more about Lightroom? Yeah. Okay. So um, if anyone here in the chat or whatever is paying attention to uh, any kind of photo editing whatsoever, you probably under you probably heard a mention of Lightroom or Photoshop. And so before I get into Lightroom, I want to give you the difference between Photoshop and Lightroom. You can do a lot of the same things in both softwares. Um, Photoshop, you're going to be able to do a lot more manipulation to the photo, whether that's um, removing something in the background or uh, something along those lines, like more like um, destructive editing, I guess you can do in Photoshop. Whereas like Lightroom is mainly to do with like the colors and stuff like that. So if you guys are trying to um, like, if you're trying to bring up certain colors in your photo or you're trying to go for certain looks or certain kind of uh, feels or vibes, I guess, in your photos, Lightroom is a really, really, really good option because um, you do have those, those sliders in there, um, to be able to edit, you know, whether you want to bring your, 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 your shadows up, or you want to bring your highlights down and stuff like that. Or if you want to go beyond that and you want to bring the blues and the images and the image up really, really high and make that really saturated, which basically means like super, super blue. You can do that, whether that's, you know, a photo of like the ocean or something like that, you can make those super, super blue, or you can, uh, do the opposite and bring those down and make them really desaturated and kind of have a more of a vintage faded film look or even a black and white look um, in your photos. So there's just tons and tons of um, editing options there. Um, Lightroom is really good for colors. It's really good for just adjusting the photo as it is. Maybe you can crop it down and do a few things like that. But as far as, um, you know, really doing some hardcore manipulation in the photo, Photoshop is probably more your gear, your speed. Um, but I actually use both of them kind of in tandem. You can send one file back and forth to the other and make a few tweaks in this program versus, and then send it over to like Photoshop and make some tweaks there and, and kind of go back and forth and has really good synergy together because of course Adobe makes both those programs. But um, uh, as far as Lightroom goes, like it's something, it's, a, it's something everybody needs if they are interested in uh, editing photos. It's super awesome. It's very, very powerful and takes a little bit of a learning curve, but after you kind of mastered it and played around with it enough, um, you can get some really, really cool results. Okay, so does that, uh, um, does that mean that um, you will uh, recommend Lightroom over Photoshop, is it? Uh, I don't know. Because I'm not really into editing. So uh, maybe yeah. like one of these days I, I will study. Um, I'm not sure if it's Photoshop or this Lightroom because I've been hearing it like many times. And then also in the YouTube, it's really a lot doing it. This, uh, you know, editing. Um, so uh, the way I would put it to you this, it depends on what, what you're trying to do. If you're trying to make like for YouTube, for instance, if you're trying to make thumbnails and Photoshop is your, that's the, that's the deal because then you can overlay text on top of stuff. You can do those massive edits like that. You can have uh, different graphics and stuff you can put on top of your image. Um, whereas like in, in, in uh, Lightroom, it's mainly adjusting the photo you have out of camera. So if you have taken a camera, a photo on your camera, on your cell phone or whatever, you bring it into Lightroom, you're going to be able to play with that and manipulate it really, really well, like superbly in Lightroom. Whereas like if you go to Photoshop, then um, you're going to 
you, you can do a lot of the same things. You can do a lot of, of color editing and, and just uh, general looks uh, across your photo. We're at, but you also have that option to add text overlays and to remove things from your image or to just do all kinds of different, like, uh, like I call destructive, you know, you can remove things that can, you know, if you remove a telephone pole out of the background, that's just what I would call destructive, meaning that it's there no more. Um, it's gone forever. It's destructive. Like it's no more longer a part of the photo. So that's what I mean by destructive, but it's very, uh, for, for YouTube, quickly, I would probably say uh, Photoshop because it does give you almost everything that Lightroom does. Um, if you're looking for like photography, just straight up photography, and you're not trying to add overlays or text or anything to your images or anything like that, then I would probably say Lightroom is the way to go because you do have more um, play with what you can do as far as the colors go or the you know saturation, uh, exposure, different things like that. Like you just have a more fine-tuned control, I guess, in Lightroom. She says, Miss Judy, Lightroom is the best option or cl classic or CC. Uh, did I read that right? I think I'm having a little bit of a lag here. Am I not there? Stream on. Which is the difference? Um, let's see here. I don't know if she's having lag or if I am, but if I am, if you guys can hear me, let me know in the comments. And I will try to bring the stream up on YouTube. Okay, uh, yeah, let me know, guys, if you can hear me here um, in the chat. I just got this pulled up on. Um, I think I think maybe it's just uh, something that I'm able to see now. I have to pause that real quick because I'm hearing an echo. I'm going to continue on and see if, um, like I said, guys, if you can hear me or if he's gone, uh, let me know in the chat. I don't know. Like I said, my internet's really, really bad. Uh, so Miss Judy has a question here. It says, which light, uh, which Lightroom is the best option, the classic or CC? Um, and what's the difference? So to answer that quickly, as far as Lightroom goes, I'm gonna always recommend that you go with the CC route, which basically stands for Creative Cloud. It's a subscription service. It's like a cloud service. So it's gonna automatically always be updating for you. Um, whereas classic is something that um, they will update it but it's, it's never, uh, it's not gonna update in the background for you. It's not gonna be as intuitive across the board. So my recommendation is if you can afford the subscription, which really isn't all that much for what you're getting, I would definitely recommend uh, using the, the CC or the, the Creative Cloud version of Lightroom and basically all Adobe um, products at that because you'll get so much more bang for your buck as far as utility versus um, a lot of people would like to own I know there's a lot of people out there who would like to own um, a software outright and it is expensive to buy that software really, really expensive. But um, anyways, I don't know. It, it, I would recommend the, the creative cloud version here. Let me respond to a couple of DMs real quick and then I'll get back to the stream here. Okay, um, let's see another, let's see here. Ch -ch -ch. Guys just passed by, I'm outside. Fresh air, grab breakfast. Yeah, hey, Cody and Kel, or Koi, Koi and Kel, I'm sorry. Thanks for stopping in. Lightroom is very basic. Uh, yeah, yeah, sugar, definitely. Lightroom is more basic from outside looking in as far as, as, as uh, photo editing goes. That's definitely the truth. Um, Let's see what else we got. Yes, we can hear you. We can still hear you. Uh, v got disconnected. Okay, cool. So evidently I took over the stream somehow. 
Uh, yeah, Appleberry TV. Yeah, you can only see me now. Cool. So, guys, do you have any more questions for me? Uh, it looks like Mo. I can't control like what pops up on the screen here. Um, but uh, Mo says, uh, "What software do you use to edit? Can you respond with that? What do you mean, edit? As far as like photos, thumbnails, such like things like that, or are you talking about video editing? Um, let me know what you're talking about in the comments, and then I'll be able to kind of direct you better what I do." Uh, as far as editing goes. I'm, I'm actually messaging B right now. She said that she got disconnected. So uh, yeah, guys, if you guys got any any questions whatsoever at all, just let me know. And I would love to uh, be able to got, help you guys out um, with any kind of uh, questions. Okay, Mo says with filming uh, for video. So what kind of, so the question is what software do I use for, uh, video editing? Basically, um, what I use is the Adobe premiere pro. Uh, that's, uh, uh, something that I pay for every month. It is a subscription. So it is the creative cloud version. Um, it's the most powerful editing software out there really period. Um, the only people who would probably have more powerful editing software would be like maybe people making like cinema, um, if you're, and I'm not sure a lot of the, I know a lot of the people in cinema still use, uh, Adobe products as well to make their, um, you know, to make their, uh, their, their movies or whatever, their full, you know, their feature films and stuff like that. They use Adobe Premiere Pro. It is so very, uh, very, very powerful. It, it does cost a little bit, bit of money, but if you're into the subscription, you can get the whole creative cloud for a set fee and you get like Photoshop, Lightroom, uh, you know, Adobe Premiere, you get uh, After Effects. So any kind of motion graphics you see are done there. Um, you get the whole gamut of all things Adobe. So if you guys do, if that is something, if you are very serious with either video editing and or YouTube, I would totally recommend um, getting that subscription and using it. But that's what I use because there is so much control over pretty much every little thing that you do. Um, absolutely love it. Um, I would, I would, I'll never change anything else. I don't think unless there is something that's just way far and away better, but that's, that's what I like to use. I learned, uh, that program in college. And so, um, it's something I'm comfortable with. It's something I've learned and, um, I really, really enjoy it. So I would definitely recommend it to those who are willing to learn. There is a, a learning curve. It's not as easy as like an iMovie or a movie maker or anything like that, but you have so much more power and control to edit all kinds of different things. So. That's what I use. Um, looking here through the chat, does anybody else have anything, any any new questions or anything like that? I'm going to return a few DMs here. I'm so He's sorry back. for that. They're, they're, sorry, right. there was this quick interruption. I don't know, so I checked all the cables and then now it's working again. I'm very oh, sorry. No, 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 you're I fine. I thought it was the stream yard and then it was my connection, the cable. Okay, so... Um, where are we now? Um, okay, for me, Lightroom is very basic than Photoshop. I could try one day with this. Um, Let's see what we got here. Yes, I got disconnected. So I'm so sorry for that uh, inconvenience. And we have here from Miss Judy. Thank you. Uh, great. Um, thanks, Taylor. Ah, here is another one. What software do you use? Edit. I don't know if you answered this already because I was like, uh, I'm having a quick interruption. No, yeah, I just, I just finished up, uh, just finished that up. Um, okay, as so far as the video editing, I use Premiere Pro. The video and thumbnails. So maybe this is also done, and then we have filming. Maybe okay, also yeah. this. Yeah, everyone's asking. Everyone's asking about what I use to edit my my footage um, that I'm putting on YouTube, and that's going to be, like I said earlier, Premiere Pro, um, a very, very powerful editing software. It takes a, a, like I said, a steep learning curve, but uh, totally, if you can master it and get good at it, it's um, it's very, very powerful, and it's something you won't ever regret if you learn to use it. Um, there are tons and tons of you, like YouTube tutorials out there. So if it is something you want to get into, I would recommend watching a whole bunch of YouTube, YouTube tutorials to almost where you feel to the point that you could just open up the software for the first time and run it like to that extent, learn the software that well. And then if you still feel compelled to get it versus what you're using already, then I would go ahead and go with it because if you have done your research and obviously you're going to have more success initially out of the gate when you open that up. 
Okay, so I have here like I don't know if it's free. So how much is it? That uh, you know, I don't know. I'd have to. I'd really have to research that. So I use. Someone asked this earlier in the stream. As far as Premiere Pro goes, um, I I use um, Premiere Pro, but it's within a subscription service of all things Adobe. Yeah. So like I use the Creative Cloud, so I get like Lightroom, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, After Effects, InDesign. Um, you know. Base, you know, the PDF uh, reader and and all these different and Audacity. You know, if I was going to record a podcast, basically, I guess I have that software to do that as well. Like, it, you know, it comes with all these softwares, and it's I I don't remember what the monthly fee is, or you can do it. I think a six month or maybe a yearly fee, um, but uh, it's really per month is really not that bad. Um, it's not ridiculous. I mean, it may be twice you know maybe two times as much as you pay for netflix or something but like i said you're getting a, a lot of bang for your buck in my opinion on the software that you can use okay so um i will also check on that the premier uh, premier pro and also maybe i will go first with the lightroom i'm really you know curious about it um oh we have here hi three stars in the song i know we're about to go where are you going thank you for dropping by do you have any question like uh, some questions to focus elite and we have here uh silva's train your brain also hello hello welcome so hello. i have here my co host uh focus elite uh, like some um um like basic q a about editing filming and then more of about um um focus elite channel okay here. yeah so if you guys have any questions about uh any kind of programs or anything like that that's cool or if you have questions about my my channel or um ideas on videos um storytelling within videos anything like that like I'm, I will give you my best advice, I'm not saying that it's uh, there's not better options out there as far as YouTube goes, but I will tell you everything I know and everything I've learned. So if you have any questions, be sure to ask. Can you give me a tip on how to use Lightroom CC? I have the app, but to delete it, I don't know how to use it. Okay. Okay, we have here. Tip how to use our Lightroom CC I have in the app, but I delete because I don't know how to use it. <gasps> okay, I don't have any idea about this. Okay, so she's, uh, Prixie is asking about, I'm sorry if I put your name, it looks like Prixie 17 to me, but if you, uh, she, she evidently uh, has Lightroom, the creative CC means creative cloud, which is a subscription service, um, doesn't know how to use it. So basically, uh, I, my advice to you would be would be watch a bunch of YouTube tutorials and then just play around with it a whole bunch because it is something that's really not, it's not easy. There's no, I've not found anything that just will really teach you how to, this is how you use the software. Step one, two, three, all the way through 10, you know, step, you know, 10 step process to how do you master Lightroom? I, I haven't found that. It, it's kind of a, you know, you look at the photo and you, and it's got these dials on the side that you can kind of tweak. In fact, I can actually probably bring it up here for you. Maybe let's see if I can share my screen with you and I can show you really quickly. Um, if I can share this, share screen. Okay. Can you guys still hear me? Oh, it's not going to share the whole screen. Hold on a second. Yes, we can still better? hear you. Can you see? Can you see my 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 screen here, right? Maybe. Anyway, so this is Lightroom. Wait, if you guys can hear me still, and this this is Lightroom Adobe, uh, the Adobe Lightroom Creative Cloud version. And uh, what I'm talking about when I talk about these these dials that you can make go buttons over here on the right. So like exposure is the one I'm clicking on right now, and I can bring it up and see how bright the image gets, or I can bring it way down and you can make it darker so you can play with different sliders like that. You can adjust the contrast, make it kind of more frosty. Um, there's all these different things you can go through here. I can actually go through certain colors here and adjust the hue to make the color, like for instance, now it's pink uh, in the sky. 
and now I can bring it down. Um, there's all these different sliders you can kind of play with, and it just plays with different, uh, um, you know, different kind of elements within the photo. So, so to answer your question, as far as not understanding how to use Lightroom, uh, man, I'm still learning too. I'm, I'm pretty good at it, but I see that I'm a master at it in any capacity. Um, but um, that 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 would be what I would I would say is that uh, you need to watch a whole bunch of um, you need to watch a whole bunch of different um, YouTube tutorials because that's what I've had to do to learn it. I didn't actually learn that in college; they didn't teach it to us. Um, but just uh, watch some YouTube tutorials; they they're very good online. Yeah, pretty, yeah, for sure. How long does it take to normally finish editing a Premiere Pro? Let's say a five minute. Um, a five minute video for me. I think V V must have potentially left the chat there. But uh, how long does it take to normally finish editing a Premiere Pro? Uh, like a five minute video. Is it user friendly? No, to answer the question, it's not user friendly right out of the gate. Once you learn it, it becomes really uh, user friendly, friendly and kind of autonomous. But um, for me, a five minute video. So my last minute, my last video I posted was five minutes and it took me probably uh, uh, because I'm very meticulous on it. It probably took me two hours to edit. I know that sounds crazy to edit a five minute video. I could have made it, I could have been done in 15 minutes out the door. It would have been just fine. But, uh, you know, I have this me versus me complex where it's like I got to do better than I did last time. And so um, that's kind of what I, I uh, am always trying to fight just a little bit, just kind of me. Yeah, so you can do it really quickly if you want to. If, that's, if you're just trying to cut clips together and make them, make them work, then you can totally do it and, um, and do it pretty quickly if you are pretty proficient in Adobe Premiere, but I like to, uh, I like to make mine, uh, I try to take mine to a new level just because I do understand the software very well and you can kind of get lost in there and use it as much as you want. And I'm tied up in this cord, but uh, yeah, that's what I like to do. So um, it, I spend way too much time editing my YouTube videos, uh, 100%. Does anybody else have any questions? Trying to scroll through a few of these. Give me just one second. Okay, yeah. So um any questions, holler at me, let me know. It looks like V is had had has had to step away for a second. But um does anyone have any questions as far as YouTube goes, as far as, you know, how to engage your audience more, how to, uh, we've kind of talked about editing your videos. We've talked about photography. I don't know if anyone got any questions about, is there any, any kind of questions you've got, you guys have for me or drones or anything, any questions at all, send them my way. This one is a quite different question. So go for a swim. So how young is focus elite? Uh, I am, I'm 27 and a half <laughs> and a half. Yeah. So I'm 27. Can you give us steps on how you do your tutorial yeah, video? Can you, can you? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Kind of general question about uh, YouTube. What else do you advertise or promote your videos for organic? Okay, so what else can you use to? Something you can do, obviously, is probably probably going to be your, your social media, whether it's your Facebook or whatever it is that your Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. That's pretty good for getting people. I would recommend what I've seen a lot of of the people that I need to watch my videos that are interested in content that I have. And that I'm putting out there would be Facebook groups. That's a really good place to go. There's a lot of groups for like drone content and stuff like that, or pretty much any kind of niche that you have. Um, you're going to be able to find a group if you search hard enough um, to 
to kind of be able to promote your content. I would recommend not being spammy and like, hey, here's my video, watch it, or don't necessarily, if, if it's not a sub for sub group, don't ask for sub for sub. Just say, hey, I got a video here, kind of give a quick brief uh, outline and then say, I thought maybe someone here might find it interesting if you do, that's cool. Um, and send the link there. I found the most um, use as far as getting subscribers and, and stuff like that, that actually watch your content content and comment and are engaged with what you're putting out there. That's the thing that uh, works the best for me. Um, it just really depends on what you're into. If you're more into Facebook or Instagram or what kind of following you have prior to YouTube, um, I would kind of double down on what you have and what, what you know. Yeah, I guess you answered this uh, this one with your content, which social media got more traffic. So I got the answer. So you, uh, you said mm -hmm. that a while ago. You're hearing like um, several background noise from my side, right? I'm just going to mute this one for a while. Oh, Prixie, Prixie, yeah, we're the same age. There you go. Let's see here. Organic views. Okay, yeah. Cool. I think I'm caught up on chat finally. Twenty-seven and a half. You know, when you when you get to this, age, when, you, when you get to twenty-seven, you start counting. Yeah, you get to twenty-seven, you start counting the halves. It's like I'm twenty-seven and three quarters, and holding. <laughs> uh, we have another to travel. Any uh, plans to travel first half of the year? Yeah. So most if of the travel that I will ever do is. Most of the travel I'm going to do will be in the United States. So, yes, I do. I will be flying out to Georgia here, I guess, uh, first part of May. Flying out to Georgia to, to for some work and stuff like that. And then um, from there, I'll be going to Indiana, which is kind of north of where I live by like 18 hours. Not 18, it's probably 15 hours uh, north of me um later there first part of june and stuff like that so that's kind of the, the, the travel plans i have right now um there may be a few trips down, down to texas and stuff like that here just kind of spur of the moment but uh those are the, those are the trips i have planned right now you use the can and gun vlogs and sometimes i use the logic Brio's webcams that's awesome yeah you've got the exact same prixie has the exact same setup pretty much the i have with the Canon CD Osmo Pocket and um, the Logitech Brio 4K webcam. That's exactly, that's literally exactly, like my, my 70D is sitting right here. My Osmo Pocket is shooting on my uh, <clears throat> my Brio 4K right now. So you have the exact same, you have the exact same setup that I do. That's awesome. How do I use the gadgets? Um, can you Can you elaborate on that? Uh, this confuses me as well. What gadgets are these? Okay, we have another one. Uh, let's get um, while waiting. Are you using special light lightning for your YT video? When you talk about the drone, the background is black. Um, what should you be using? Um, okay, so I think you're probably talking about the, the Mavic near view, and I can kind of show you real quickly. Hopefully, this doesn't give too much feedback with this. I'm sorry if it's in your ears, but. Okay, so I got my webcam right here. I'm gonna just pick it up. Got the first video, that video on. It was just basically, I'm sorry guys, like right here. Like you see that black background right there? Oh, this lighting is absolutely horrible for this scene. Right here, what I have is just a, um, it's just a curtain, a blackout curtain. A black, it blocks out all the light in my um, in my room so that I can control the lighting. So to answer your question, yes, I do control the lighting. Um, I have lighter, uh, two lights up there with gels on them. Uh, that one's kind of purplish and that one's kind of blue. And um, that basically gives me like 
I'll put this back here where it's supposed to be, and I can explain all of the lighting set up here for you. Um, so you see, and I can turn them off and show you. So you see this light that separates me from the background on my head and on my shoulders here. Uh, when it lights up top. So I turn that off and you see what a different look that we have. Um, so I have two lights mounted to the side of your wall just to have like this effect right here. But yes, I actually do like that's what I'm doing. Like, okay, you can see on the side of my face or the side the side of my face here where it's like blue kind of light right here. It separates you from the background. So that's what I have there. So for my YouTube lighting, I do have those and it's those are called they're called rim light meaning the rim of the outline of me is, you know, that's the rim and it puts light on that and you can pick whatever colors you want. That's why I have those gels to make them blue. Otherwise it would just kind of be white. Um, and then, so I've actually changed my setup in here. Um, since that normally I was like my computer was sitting right here. Normally my computer was sitting right here and I just had this light going like this and that's all I had. And I have the curtain as the backdrop. So now I've changed things up. I've got my desk over here. I have orange light over here and uh, uh, just the regular lamp. And then back here behind uh, my boxes and whatever uh, trophies and stuff like that, I have this blue light, which is shining up on the wall to kind of uh, kind of teal and orange look or, or a blue and orange kind of look with also the blue rim light hitting my face. And then also right here, um, I hope you probably didn't ask for all this, but I'm telling you it nonetheless long or short story made long, I have a, a ring light right here, which you guys probably can't really tell it's a ring light because um, the camera angle, but basically it's a ring light right here, giving soft light on this side of my face, giving me a little bit of a shadow right here, giving more kind of depth to the image. So like I said, short story made long, that's the setup on my lighting. So yes, it is indeed special lighting, I guess. We have this, um, you know, famous you... green screen effect. What can you say about the uh, green screen effect? Have you tried it? Oh, yeah. God, you guys are going to say what nerds I am after telling I'm like, this is like a tech stream. Uh, so I actually do have it. I'm going to pull it up really quickly. Um, you won't be, and it'll just be green. It won't, like, make me disappear or nothing like that. But... <clears throat> Oh yeah, so yeah, there's my green screen. So if I was facing this oh, way, wow. webcam facing this way, I could make the background completely disappear, um, and I could be ever. But I do have a green screen there. That's the Elgato. Uh, I can't remember what they call it. But it's the Elgato green screen. Really, really cool uh, green screen. I love this one. I don't use it nearly enough, really hardly at all. But if you guys are gamers of any capacity, this would be definitely the one you want to get. It's it's by itself, and it just folds back down like right here up against the wall out of the way you could slide under your bed you can do whatever you want to with it but uh yeah that's the green screen um you can use that with all kinds of different streaming softwares you can use it with adobe premiere after like in post processing you, you can do that as far as video editing goes um there's a lot of options you can do with a green screen you can literally put yourself anywhere as far as um you know backdrops go anyways that's that it doesn't look very good right now so i'm going to bring it back down <laughs> Actually, that's my personal question because I'm really planning to do analysis using green screen. Uh, you know, like uh, I came across with this one analysis and then showing about a green screen effect. And then it's really nice. I said, okay, one of these days I'm going to try it. I'm just waiting for the um, order. You know, I ordered it online and then I'm going to try it. Okay. So that's good to know that you what also. Did you, what, what, uh, what kind of green screen did you order? Um. Actually, it's still in my card. I didn't um, um, uh, finalize it yet. Maybe I'm gonna ask you about it, and then which one will you recommend? Okay. Yeah, because I'm not, I, uh, I don't have any. Yeah, you know, um, idea about it. My, my advice on a green screen to forward. This one was pretty uh, fairly expensive. I don't was um, how much exactly it cost, but it is a really really good green screen. The color of the green is really good, so it's really easy to like distinguish between like it and the green like uh, the softwares don't have any problem really doing that so that's really cool 
Um, it does fold down flat. Like I said, slide it under your bed uh, in a closet or whatever. Um, it like the profile is like this wide. It's like this wide by like whatever five feet long. Like I mean, if you can slide something this size, you know, my phone. That's how wide it is when you pull it up and stuff. And you put it back down in its cases and pretty much do anything you need to do with it. I slide it. It's very easy to uh, pull up, like use down, and it took me like no time. So there's no like, you know, hanging sheets or anything like that. That's that's the part that I really like about it. So I would recommend that one if you can afford it. Otherwise, any green screen you get is going to be pretty good for the most part. So maybe I'll, I'll ask you later after this, um, or maybe tomorrow because it's quite uh, late there. So it's 1.25 p.m. here. So any more questions for Focus Elite? So uh, I, you know, I, I asked um, him to like, say, okay, I will take 30 minutes of your time. And then we're, we were live for like 55 minutes already. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't follow the 30 no, minutes. No, 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 you're fine. No, no, no. Yeah, you're fine. thank no you so much. Uh, I was on I was on a live stream the other day until like two a.m. or what? What was it? Was it? The Armand. It was like two a.m. or something. So it's no big deal, at all. I enjoy it. It's fun. Yeah. So is anyone getting more questions for me? Um, or a better question: Does anyone have any questions for V? this is a highlight of your you know channel and um actually like um um in my region like they're waiting for your ls so i hope one of these days you can do you know your ls and uh, we can join i've been uh, i've been recently is uh, to try uh options as far as internet connections go to get a better live stream going together because uh, uh for whatever reason i can do it on if I'm if someone else is hosting, then I can um, hosting the stream. Then it seems like it goes okay. But when I was doing it, my own my own uh, test there, it was very very bad, so bad. Let's see if I can respond to a few of these here. Nice intro and background music. Hello, Hasna Diary. Thanks for dropping by. Do you have a question for Focus Elite? Have you been to his house? So please don't forget to visit Focus Elite. And um, we will learn a lot about his channel. So if you have uh, questions, you can drop it now, and um, hope, uh, hopefully, um, uh, Focus Elite can answer it. And I know he can. Yeah, thanks. Uh, is it Hasna? I'm butchering that. I am so Hasna sorry. Diary. Thank you so much. Yeah, right. It's Hasna Diary. What's this? It's all <laughs> dot, dot, dot. What is this Rika Kate videos? Yeah. It's okay. Just answer. I right, just so, uh, let, let, let us know. In the, let us know in the chat what video, what kind of videos you guys make. That'd be interesting to kind of get to read a little bit of what you guys make. Uh, what is you guys have chosen to be in? Um, what questions you have maybe about those? And that would be also uh, you know pretty cool too. And then also what. Um, what are your goals for YouTube? So if you guys have any of those, let us know in the comments. So that'd be great. I'll say this. I, I will say this. I tried to, to get so uh, while we're waiting on a few questions here, my goal was to have a live stream this week. It didn't work out like I wanted to because my internet connection wasn't good enough to be able to do it. Um, and I did want to have something that was at least uh, aesthetically pleasing as far as a live stream goes. And sorry about that. Um, my my uh, the problem I had was like I said, I do want it to be kind of a, if I do have a live stream one day if my internet ever gets good enough, um, it'll be so hopefully it'll be something that's aesthetically pleasing 
um, and you guys can enjoy. But something that I will say that this uh, stream mode lacks is the ability to add music into your stream. I think if you added music, a playlist or something like that, and your stream yard would be the it would be awesome. It'd be really, really cool. Um yeah, so guys, yeah, let us know in the chat if you guys will like what your content, what 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 uh, YouTube content you make, what you guys like. Um what uh, what are your, what are your goals for YouTube? Are you guys trying to get monetized or are you trying to go beyond monetization? Are you trying to uh you know make a community uh people who follow you trying to grow your business like uh, let us know what you guys are trying to do yeah appleberry tv thank you so much thanks for thanks for stopping in and uh you know thanks for uh watching watching some of the content i really appreciate it i saw your comment there earlier so um thank you very much all right so um i'm really looking forward to you know for your own ls <laughs> and um what else can i say so i really appreciate it so oh my goodness we are already one hour um oh what's this obis is better for ls but yeah, don't have ability to oh but yeah, I, so so OBS is awesome. I have OBS. That's what I use for my uh, uh, like screen recording is OBS, and I also have uh, OBS, the um, Stream Labs, and and I just recently got that, so I'm not very good at that. But I'm I'm pretty okay, pretty comfortable. I was having such a problem, like my OBS wouldn't send the stream to YouTube and uh, stay connection. So that was my issue with the OBS. I just couldn't get it to. Uh, come across because if OBS would work, my life would be awesome because I could have music and videos and whatever I wanted, any kind of, uh, any kind of content. Miss Beauty says, I would love to leave my mark and the beauty or Miss Judy. Miss Judy says, I would love to leave my mark in the, in the beauty community I will create and uh, to be known for something. Yeah, I think that's. I think I think you're right on track there. I think a lot of people on YouTube would like to, uh, whatever it is. I know, you know, no, I'm not gonna say that I have any kind of jump start on YouTube or anything like that. But um, when I first, I think that's a very common feeling. Most people want to be known for something, or they want to be accepted for something, or uh, just something in YouTube because it's like. So for the first time in, in history, you know, um, someone can, with their phone or with their computer or the technology they already own, are, are able to become, and not just popular, but just a, an influence on other people and respected. I don't think that really ever happened before, like, this last uh, decade or two. And YouTube's a reason for that because, you know, like, uh, someone can hop on YouTube and, 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 record videos and, and have a following and have a community that they built and eventually that can grow into you know million subscribers or two million or four million or five million um you look at some of those top youtubers out there and and you think about it like you look at the, some of the very top youtubers out there they are bigger than any news organization in the world there are some youtubers that are bigger like followers and stuff like that potential audience bigger than all of the news or world combined. And that's just mind blowing. And that's the power of YouTube there. So like for the first time ever in history, you've been able to be a regular Joe and everybody and anybody and be able to have success in a platform that elevates your, I guess, uh, in a way, in a crude way to look at it, status in the world or status um, among your peers um, like never before, because it used to be like, you know, if you're going to be somebody who is recognized, you had to be an actor or an actress of some sort. And that's not the case anymore um, because you're not beholden to what the script is that you have to read and you have to act like you can. You are the director. You, you are the cameraman and you are the talent all in one. So that's a really unique opportunity that everybody on YouTube now has. And I think that um, I think it's going to keep as like. 
if you look at it, YouTube is kind of trying to take over as far as a, a, a YouTube or a TV platform or a long content platform uh, platform. Like they want you to stay on there as long as you can. They're competing directly with Netflix. They're competing directly with cable and TV and everything that you watch, you know, through your TV. Like they're, tr they're doing their own kind of, uh, uh, you know, long form content, whether it be, you know, like uh, movies and stuff that they kind of like what Netflix did, where they had their originals, Netflix originals. They're kind of YouTube is kind of doing some of that. They're doing their own live, live streaming of sports. And so, um, yeah, YouTube is really the place to be at. You know, people want to say it's too late to get onto YouTube and have an influence. And I would say there's probably ne never been a better time because if you wait any longer, you're only getting further behind your opportunity. So I would definitely recommend. Growing your community, growing your subscriber base right now as soon as, as soon as you can because it'll only help you 10 years down the road. Can you imagine? Do you remember what YouTube was 10 years ago? It's nothing like it is now. Absolutely nothing. So it grows exponentially. That's uh, that's kind of the one of the reasons I, I decided to get into YouTube is because of the opportunity there. So I have this um, on one of the last questions just for this session. Like, um, uh, what made you decide to do YouTube in the first place? Because I know different creators have different reasons. And then, uh, you know, like more of why Focus Elite is born. So, so um, this <laughs> has been I'm giving you a hard question. <laughs> is it hard? <laughs> and I'm just curious. No, 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 no. Like, it's fine. So why why am I on YouTube? The question is why am I on YouTube? Why did I decide to start YouTube? Um, so I did a lot of research before, and I didn't really realize I was doing it. I did about a year, at least a year's worth of research, and I didn't really realize that's what I was doing at the time. Um, I was just watching YouTube videos I was interested in, and, and it happened to be YouTube content, and, and so actually based around my business. Uh, initially, like how to grow more influence in your business, how to broaden your horizons, you know, how to get more customers and stuff like that. And it kind of morphed into, um, you know, all social media is similar. It's not the same. YouTube is very different than M or Twitter or even Facebook. Like it's all different, but it's all similar. And the tactics can be very similar in how you grow your base. And so when I, when I looked into that, I didn't really realize at the time I was n naturally you know, with my background in communications, understanding uh, photography and videography, having tons and tons of courses on both of those and a fondness, I guess, for those. Um, I didn't really realize at the time that that's what I was doing. I was kind of researching more or less how to have a YouTube channel, how to develop engaging content. When I was re researching how to, uh, you know, make your Facebook videos have more, uh, punch and more push organically, I didn't really realize that those same principles are also applied to video across all platforms. Um, people to watch your videos, you have to tell a story kind of, you have, have to kind of have something that's engaging, something every, like at least every 60 seconds to have someone, something that people will keep keep their attention, become, you know, uh, the average attention, so they say the average attention span of people uh, today is eight seconds or less. So like um, if you go two or three minutes without having something just really punchy, just something to hit people in the face and like, hey, this is interesting. You need to stick around. Then like they're going to click out quick and it's something I'm not mastered at all. I always kept in the back of my mind, not, not for YouTube initially, but for my business as well, because we do a bunch of video content for that as well. But then also it translated over into YouTube and I realized like, hey, it's not just you know, a business, like it's another opportunity, another avenue to have more reach and have more contact with other people. And also to, I, uh, the way I look at it is, is a lot of people out there that um, want to go to college and wish they could go to college, but they don't have the money. Uh, I was very fortunate to have scholarships and also have, uh, you know, financial backing for my folks to kind of get me through college and stuff like that. So, um, and for those of you who want to go to college, that's great. That's awesome. My recommendation having gone to college is that if you aren't going for a something that needs a uh, certificate, some kind of like 
can't proof you went there kind of deal, like a, being a doctor or a lawyer, something that has like some kind of, you know, the, you have, to be a lawyer, you have to pass the bar. To be a doctor, you have to pass, um, uh, shoot, I can't remember. What you, there's a test there you have to pass. And then the same thing like for, for, for pharmacy and stuff like that, you have to pass um, different tests or whatever and have these qualifications to be who you are in that field. Whereas like I majored in communication, there were no tests. Um, because I majored in communications does not mean that I am more qualified than somebody who never went to college to do the exact same thing that I'm doing. Doesn't, doesn't mean that it just means I went to college. And I spent a whole lot of money to do it. And in the era that we are in now, looking back, I could have learned everything, if not, or absolutely everything on YouTube alone. If I couldn't find on YouTube, there are, are platforms like Skillshare, different things like that that you can learn this stuff on, and it's like uh, you you save like a you pay like a tenth or uh, less of the cost it, it takes for you to go to college, and you do it on your own time and be earning money at the same time. So um, I don't know. I kind of got a rant on about why not to go to college, but my you know, me being college educated is probably not an, a, a great look to tell me to tell you guys not to go to college or not to anything like that. That's not exactly what I'm saying, but I'm just saying <clears throat> what are your options and under different uh, time than it's ever been for people in, um, in the world, because you know, like knowledge is on it on the internet and you can totally find it and get the exact same kind of quality. Uh, like I said, just because I went to college does not mean I'm more educated on anything whatsoever than anybody else who didn't go to college and studied their ass off and watched a shit ton of YouTube videos. Like it, it's not, it doesn't matter. Um, okay. So, uh, last question here from Judy says, let's see, teacher, uh, they say teacher views and beauty are to content. Uh, but based on your research, uh, what other content rated with new YouTubers to get into, you know, I hadn't really, I hadn't really, um, I hadn't really researched what would be the best to get into as far as like, uh, you know, the saturation, how many people are in that niche and how much, what, what your competition is going to be. Um, because I guess what I, my recommendation would be is that you uh, ask yourself what you're passionate about and, and perfect examples on my channel. I thought that I was pretty passionate about helping other people understand social social media and how to build their brand online and make money from their brand. That's kind of what I thought. And I am very, very good at that. But then I realized I'm very good at it, but I'm not necessarily passionate about it. It's not something that when I post a video about social media and how to build your brand and how to broaden your horizons and increase your customer, your potential customer base, I don't feel good or better uh, after having posted one of those videos. It's not something that just makes me feel longevity goes and you being able to stand out among the competition, I think you have to have, um, I think you have to have, uh, you know, you have to have like a, a network, a passion for it, I guess is probably the best word, a passion for what you're doing or else it will never work out. You know, there's lots of, I'm sure there's tons of, of, of things I don't know anything about on YouTube as far as like, what are the unsaturated niches that are ready to boom and take off? I don't have any, I can't give you any advice there. The only advice I can give you is make what you like to make and make, try to make it, uh, define yourself. It's okay to expand and explore a little bit and say, Hey, I like this or I like that, but get an overlying theme. And at the end of the day, I'm not saying you have to niche down so so hard that you're defined. This is what you come to me for, and it's all you're going to get. And you know when you come here, that's what you're going to get. I think that that's a good way to lose personality. On my channel, I'm really trying very, very hard not to do is niche down. Like, for instance, the, the stuff that popped off for me was drone content. The Mavic Mini and, and DJI content has, has really... But... I'm not trying to need out so hard to where that's all I am. I'm just a DJI drone guy. Like I don't want to be that. That's why I try to add um, it, every chance I can. I try to add some kind of person to connect like, Hey, I can jive with that guy. He seems like he's got a good personality. I like his stuff. I'm going to subscribe. I may not be in the drones, but I'm into uh, photography or I'm into 
video or I'm into Photoshop or whatever it is, or maybe I'm just into the way that guy talks on, 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 on YouTube. Like I just like his personality. Never underestimate your own personality. I would come at everybody on YouTube hard and fast with personality because I think it does really, really matter. Personality definitely, um, personality will carry your, 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 in my opinion, will carry your channel further than just um, the same old stuff regurgitated over and over again. It definitely will. Now you do need to have an idea and a clear vision for your channel, in my opinion. But yeah, at the end of the day, people are. Uh, you think about the people you watch on YouTube regularly, and you're looking forward to their videos. Are you looking forward to their? You just can't, can't wait for the tutorial. They're gonna teach you this, and I just can't wait. No, you're 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 uh, you're subscribing to them as a person. You're subscribing to them as a personality, and you're sitting there saying, "Hey." This guy, I absolutely love. Like, I, I like what he's into. I'm into that too. Or maybe I'm not into it, but I just like the guy's personality and he tells a cool story and he has some cool effects and he likes to hang out and, and be cool and, and seems pretty down to earth. I, I like that guy. I'm going to subscribe and I'm gonna keep watching his videos. That's the way I look at YouTube. That's my whole approach uh, to YouTube. I don't know if it's right. You know, I'm just starting, but that's that's what I'm looking for in YouTube. So long story or short story made very, very, very long there. What am I, the reason I'm on YouTube is because I want to have that experience. I want to impact people and to also be a personality on YouTube with the people who are interested in following my content. So uh, yeah, anything else here in the chat here? It looks like V bounced out or maybe she, my, my connection is acting weird today. Yeah, so she had the bounce. Uh, or, or maybe here that just can disconnected her. So if you guys have any more questions, let me know. I'd love to answer them. Um, would definitely love to answer them. So yeah. So you guys. So, so the question was asked. What? Why am I on YouTube? Uh, here in the chat. Let's see in the chat why some of you guys want to be on YouTube. Yeah, let's see it. Uh, we got, uh, I'm going to butcher this. Is it Philcore blog? This is wonderful idea. Let me, let me know in the, in the chat, what you guys, what, what, what's your, the reason for you being on YouTube is, are you here to influence the uh, makeup scene or the cooking scene? Or are you here to, uh, teach people how to be very, very, uh, you know, Xbox or PlayStation games, or are you here to be a personality? Maybe you can combine a few of those things together. Let me know uh, down in the comments what you guys are interested in. What, what, why are you guys here? Like, I really would, um, because it broadens my horizons a little bit there too. Um, and then also, if you guys do have, like I said, any questions, about, um, any questions about YouTube? Any questions about uh, cameras? I guess obviously I've answered quite a few of those, but I'm open to some more or lighting or trying to make a scene look decent. Uh, the extra step to make those things uh, look just a little bit better. Uh, let me know in the comments and I would gladly, gladly answer those. Give me just one second. Okay, Miss Judy. Um, Miss Judy says, "Where are you?" I am. I live in Oklahoma, in the United States of America. So, that's where I'm at. Brett, the best free video. Uh, yeah, Cyber Mustang. What is what? What platform are you using? Like, what? Uh, are you iOS? Are you Windows? What do you what do you use as far as a computer go? or maybe even your cell phone? What are you using for um, your operating system? And I can hopefully direct you that way. If you're using a uh, if you're using like iOS, I would probably say Movie. You know, it's not Movie Maker. What is I, iMovie? I'm a PC user, so I'm I'm pretty ignorant on that. But iMovie, from what I understand. Uh, um, user friendly and something you can get into and, and kind of step right into and understand how to use pretty quickly and does a pretty good job. I know some YouTubers that actually have like 
60 uh, subscribers that are using that and are still using that and are very content with it. So, so that one, as far as iOS goes, works pretty well. Um, you know, as far as, and then as far as PC goes oh, and cell phone, uh, PC, uh, Windows 10 and PC, um, I don't know. You know, I don't, I had to really research a little bit of that. I don't, I, to be honest, I don't have a great answer for you as far as the research goes on that. Um, I, because I do use Premiere Pro and I've always used it. So I don't really, what you got, you don't really look to see what's new or better or cheaper or free. Um, but I, I would say as far as the, uh, PC goes, they have, um, full Mora? I, I would look at I would Google Flamora. Film Mora. I think maybe Film Mora. I don't know. I don't know exactly how, how they, but but Google either Film Mora, Film Mora, or Flim Mora and see. I, I think that one may be free. Um, I think for PC that may be free. As far as cell phones go, I don't know of what would be really free. Honestly, you could probably just get into Google Play and just. Uh, search and see what you got and what you, what you like and play around with. You know, when I am ever editing on my phone, um, I use the Premiere Rush, which is, I think, paid for maybe, or maybe it's a subscription. I'm not exactly sure, but that's what I use. Um, if I'm going to have, if I have to get down and dirty and edit on my phone, that's what I use. And again, that's on both and Android. Looks like I am. That's so sorry, everyone. I'm really having this weird um, connection. I don't know what just happened today. <laughs> I keep on, you know. Oh my goodness. Yeah, for more. For more. Hey, Miss Judy. Miss Judy says, "Looks like I'm the student that their stu students don't like because they ask too many questions." No, no, not at all. Here, uh, you're you're right. You're you're doing just fine. I it gives uh, it gives the stream a little bit of livelihood and and. Uh, yeah, all your are, you've been asking good questions. Are, uh, Cyber TV, are you asking about? Uh, are you asking about uh, which one are you asking about? Are you asking about? Is this Power yeah, Director? Free. Is this a Filmora? I tried Power Director, but but I'm using Kind Master today, so I really want want to try something else. Use what? Master is just a popular one and the easiest one, so not much, you know. So I really want to maybe um for my um upcoming uh, vlogs, I'm gonna use another editing app. Right. I heard about Flamora. It's really good. Yeah, I've heard a lot of really good reviews on Flamora. I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people use Flamora. Um, I don't have any clue. I've never touched it whatsoever. Um, I know like on iOS, they have uh, stuff like that. They have um, a lot of people will use, and it's pretty comparable to Premiere Pro, but it's a little, it's not quite as good, but it's pretty dang close. But a lot of people are using um, Final Cut Pro. Uh, they're getting along really, really good with that. I know a lot of people who are actually filmmakers who use that too. So uh, that's a good one to use if you are willing to pay a little bit of money. It's probably a little bit cheaper maybe than than the um, Premiere Pro that I use, but it works really, 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 really well with iOS products. So. Try to look for the activation code. Haha. <laughs> okay. So, uh, any more questions for Focus Elite? I know it's really getting late. At, you know, at its end, and um, you know, I really appreciate it. And then we learn something new again, and then hopefully we can try all your suggestions uh, for you know for our next um, uh, uploads, video uploads. What's this? I will try Premiere Pro, but it's. So, if, but it is too expensive. I need to get a key. Yeah, right. Oh, but then it's really good one. I don't know if there's the monthly subscription. Yeah, like I, yeah, that's what I said. If you get if you get a subscription, it's you something you can kind of tolerate. Um, but I recommend trying to learn the software before you even think about getting it because 
um, it, there's a lot to take in. And if you can watch tons and tons of YouTube videos and feel like you got a pretty good idea about it, um, you'll f you'll just feel better when you when you download it. I mean, like I said, it is a pretty steep learning curve, so you probably need to try to learn it before you get it, or have a pretty good idea of understanding how to do things and where things are at um, before you ever get it. Because, like I said, that w that would be one thing that I would say that when I went to college, I definitely am glad that I took that class because if I had to just learn it from scratch, I, I don't think I would be able to. I, I, I shouldn't say I don't think I'd be able to. It would take me a long time to learn, I should say. Cyber, Cyber uh, Mustang TV says he knows how to use it. Yeah, if you know how to use it, then 100%. If you can, if you can swing it, if you can budget it in your, your monthly you know, uh, expenses or whatever, I would totally, totally go for it because it's, uh, it's super powerful. I, I, I literally, I'm very good at Premiere Pro. Like I'm really, really good, but I also learn something every chance I get. Yeah. I'm, I'm never, I'm never against watching a Premiere Pro tutorial if they're teaching something that I'm interested in. Like I'm totally down with that because it's, uh, I think it's how you get better. I think it, oh, what do they say? If you, if the people who quit, oh, maybe I'm making this up. The people who quit learning are the people who fall behind. Something along those lines. Yeah, if you just if you if you quit learning and quit striving to learn, I think then um, then you're just complacent. So I guess there's no more other question. Um, what's this? I used it before when I am all a student, okay. <laughs> so I guess that's it. No more other questions. I'm not seeing any other questions. So okay. Um so I'll just get, I wanna thank you again for everyone who joined us today. Um you know, it's really good talk today with a focus elite i hope you all guys already visited um his channel and then uh, um for sure you will learn more about his channel and then uh, of course we are looking forward for more uploads you know and hopefully one of these days also the um, um he will be doing his ls and then okay yeah that's it i know how to use pc what's this there's another one from i don't know how to use pc for editing that's why i use my phone oh yeah yeah, me too. I have a I, I have a laptop, and then I'm um, convenient using my phone in editing. But I know that using PC or using a laptop is um, better than you know just the phone because we can you know um, more do more in editing. Yeah, or using a PC. What else we have here or so that's it for now so thank you so much um my co-host for today i really took you know longer time <laughs> and um oh, yeah. really, uh, really myself. I, I, I learned a lot and then I, I i am really hoping i can use one of those tips and suggestions you know in your future your upcoming uploads so maybe yeah, let's sure. call it a night and what else? What else I can see? Uh, what else I can say? So thank you. We have um, last five uh, viewers. So thank you so much for dropping by. And hopefully next time when it's focus elites at uh, you know LS, we can you know support him as well. It's really good. We will learn something. So thank you so much, focus elite. So have I know it's already. Yes, thank um, you. Thank you so much for having me. I really enjoyed really, it. Thank it was you really so fun. much. I really uh, appreciate it. And then uh, hopefully next time we can uh, do another, uh, you know, talk. And then so you know, just exchange of ideas and um, yeah, something like that. So thank you. Thank yeah, you guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much for stopping in. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed yeah. it. Thank you so much. Thank you and good night. It's already night there. 2 a uh, 2 p.m. 2 yeah, one. It it's midnight. It's midnight, right? Is it? Is it midnight? Yeah, it is. It is. It's midnight. Yeah. Yeah, it's midnight. Oh, you should sleep, and then I know you have work tomorrow. Oh, so so that's it. So bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all. There you go.